Oh my oh, god, that thank was so the annoying. Lord Jesus. Oh my god, that was so annoying. Oh my god, that's so annoying. I mean, you should. This is just. We're not I'm millennials. Wearing, I'm wearing pajama bottoms where I put a top on. Oh too. my god, I just love everybody. Blew Look out. at her professional setup right now because Blew this out is my hair. Can't makeup. You're gonna be the only one coming out of your house looking just flawless. Yeah, all right. Whatever. You just but been I, like I have gained. I don't know. 40 pounds. Other than that, I'm good. Hey, we did it. Stop. 25 minutes late. And in Stop. honor of you, Cheryl, and your closet look, I'm... I know. Thank you for making me feel right at home. And I have a picture of us here. Oh, maybe that should go in the background. <laughs> I love it. Wait, look at our picture. Well, first of all, this is not me. This is you and my sister at my wedding, but it's really yeah. cute. And I have the four of us. Look at this. Can you see it? Yeah, yeah what? The four of us? No. Cute. Can't see it, but cute. See it? Cute. cute. See it. Hi, everybody, by the way. Yes. Hi. Excuse us for the technical. Hold on before I burn my closet down on fire. But in my house, I brought diamond painting to you. Yes, you sent all this to the house. Now there's a, we set it up. I don't know if we did it right, but I have a light box that you sent me, this yes. magnifying thing. Yes, so do I, I got, you know, I've been actually um, hiding mine from my guests because I didn't want them to make fun of me because they're like a magnifying glass, but then me and you relate, we can get it, we get it. Yeah, we get it. And the fact that you, you need, need it. You need glasses now, even though you've made fun of me for the last year. I got contacts. And I have my little dishes with, the thingy th things. Frills. Yeah. And I brought this because I wanted everybody to see. Oh, I love you. That you can also see my light. Do you see my ring light, by the way? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cheryl. So Cheryl makes yep, these diamond great. paintings and she's been um, super obsessed with them, like pushing them on everybody. Like if you go to Cheryl's house, she has them on every table. I don't even answer the door for her. Like, there's no, like, nothing. There's, like, hey, if you want to sit and talk or sit and eat, sit and do this huge diamond painting that she has for mm. her wedding, which is n taking up her whole dining room table. And then she goes, do you want one? Do you want one? You're like, no, I'm good. I'm good. I, you know, I, don't, I don't know. I made you one anyway. You want this one? You want this one? So she, sent, she made this. Ah, no, but let then, me tell you guys. Uh-uh, uh-uh. It wasn't that easy. I went through like six, I sent you diamond painting canvases because you're like, I hate purple. I'm like, oh, I was so excited. I was like, I got you this dancer and it had purple in it. And you're like, I hate purple. Came from England. Right. And finally we found some hot, passionate tango dancers. And that took a lot of work. <laughs> and then she brings it over and she's like, where do you want to hang it? I go, I don't know, I'll just put it here for a second. And she's like, no, where do you want to hang it? You want to look around the house? I go, no, I'm good. Yeah, you know, I'm good. I'm just, let's just eat something. You want some wine? I, I, mean, I don't want any wine. Like, where do you want to put it? You want to put it? Where do you want to put it? Where do you want to put it? Where do you want to put it? And then, so somehow I distracted her. And then subsequent conversations and visits, this is obviously before the pandemic, it was every time she came here, yeah. where is it? Where, why is it not hung? And I still haven't really seen it hung. You say it's you say it's hanging in your ballroom, but I don't fucking believe it. Don't curse. Then, excuse me, I keep forgetting sent, we're on IG live. Then she sends me a card, a th one of the fifty thank you cards that she sent me for the wedding, and okay, then told me not to throw it away. So oh my, I've also that was your seen Christmas that. card. That was your Christmas card. <laughs> also. Yeah. What I found. Oh, God. I'm more for birthdays. And you're, you're missing one more. The candle that was half. What? So, Cheryl, I know you don't know comedy, but you're leading with the joke. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. No one knows. Start over. Let's start over. Well, now it's ruined. No. Anyway, uh... I'll tell it anyway. And it's not a funny story, everybody, because Cheryl ruined it. So now there's going to be high expectations. And then I have, like, anxiety over being funny so now it's not fun. this is not a funny story it's a diamond painting so i said oh i need my glasses hang on 
You have the magnifying glass. That's what but do you want to tell everybody how much time you spent or do you spend on this or do people know? No. And by the way, we're not, we don't have to tell everyone everything. Just kidding. Do I use, I use this, right? Yeah, yes. For beginners, we use pens. For advanced, we use tweezers. Okay. Hello well, from Brazil. Hi, I've Brazil. Been to, have you been to Brazil before? No, I'd love to go. I'd love to go Me anywhere. Me too. I know, seriously. I don't, um, I don't what candle is giving you anxiety? Is my candle giving you anxiety? Or well, right now, this is giving me anxiety because now i got to look at the color chart to see oh, what's the coordinating... On. Okay, I don't know if the glasses and the magnifying glass is going to work. Does it? Yeah, that's way better. There you go. There you go. I King of Queens is my all-time fave. Doug and Carrie. Hey, girl. Hey. Hi from upstate New York. What are you doing? Are you taking a commercial break and just... I am. I am the commercial. <laughs> okay, I'm going to ask you a question from Rachel Raycraft. And actually, I'm a huge fan of, a fan of hers because she's one of like my diamond painting idols that I look up to and watch her YouTube videos. And she's the reason why I know how to diamond paint. So props to Rachel Raycraft. <laughs> What has been the highlight of your year thus far, Leah? Okay, I didn't even know you were talking to me. I was trying to find out. Leah, what? No, we didn't set this up together. We did, well, you didn't do this part. You didn't do the jewels part. I had written out directions. Okay. <laughs> Now, do you know where, are you starting from the bottom corner, like where you should be starting? Or what is that? Is it labeled, your drills? Like okay, in, the, in the little container. So S, so S, S, S is, what number? S is, S oh is, God. what's DMC mean? So DMC is the DMC code of the actual drill slash rhinestone slash diamond. Everyone's asking why you're so blurry. Me? Uh-huh. Maybe my camera's dirty? Your Wi-Fi sucks. Oh, that, that it does. Sorry, everybody. It sucks. It does, guys. My, like, I, my phone stops working whenever I'm at her house. Look. It's just going to be can a VO. Can I? Can I? Yes. What? 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 Six one. Six. Why are you laughing? Uh -huh. Who's laughing in the background? Nobody. 601. Who's there? 601. I don't well, have six of one. What do you mean you don't have six of one? What, what's in, is it labeled your little tray of drills? Yeah, yeah, got it, got it. Okay. Okay, so now Bye. I take it. Sorry, you want me to take one of these? Is anybody diamond painting with us? Because this is. No, they're, you know, this is, this takes some real, like, okay. focus. I know this, I know you use it on this little tray. That's what we do at your house. So we do that. And I'm going to put a little thing. Now, what was the question that was asked of me? Okay, so Rachel Ray Craft asks, what has been the highlight of your year th thus far? What's been the highlight? Hmm. Other than the coronavirus. Well, it's, it's, it's been really trying for people and it's been a devastating time for people. And so um, with that, lives are being changed forever. Uh, people are losing their lives. Um, people are losing their jobs. Um, so, so many, uh, it's been devastating on so many levels. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, there, well, there's no but. Um, although, what has been really uh, comforting is to watch people, how people have come together and how people have um, uh, just, I think we went so far, pendulum swing so far with uh, being angry and things um, uh, with what they can, I mean, entertaining people, uh, doing what they can uh, just to change somebody's day. You don't have to be a celebrity to do that. You have your own circle of people who mean something to you. And so it's so important to know that you have power to change somebody's day. I mean, I, mm -hmm. I've told friends like that I haven't talked to in, in a way that I've talked to them now, FaceTiming right. them. And, you know, they said things like they texted me later saying, you just made my day. I was home. You know, I've been home by myself. I virtually have talked to no one, seen no one. And 
you know, just your call me my dad. I didn't really realize, like, I didn't want to, I don't want to be so, like, eh, maybe you have to change somebody's day, like, I'm so totally. right? But it does mean something to people. And so yeah. we've all been connecting in a way that's much deeper and, and uh, more poignant. Yeah. And so I think that's a long answer. That's a long answer, but I figured I, no, didn't, want to, I didn't want to do this, so I thought I would look to the camera and use that. Uh, I, I can tell. Not. Doing By the way, these lovely uh, paintings are from Diamond Art Club, so check them out if you guys would like a painting of your own. Speaking of... Um, and you, doing... too, could could force it on your friends and family who don't want that. You know what? I have yes, to tell you. you, this is a great bonding experience, and I... Come on, Leo, you have to admit, when I dive into okay. it, I'm just like diarrhea of the mouth. All joking aside, we have connected in a way, even though we've, we're close, right? Yes. We have connected in a, in a total if we're distracted. And so we say things that are very vulnerable because we're in here and we're like, yes, I feel like a failure. Yes, I feel like I, I could be a better mother, a better daughter, right. a shit friend. I, I'm a shit you know? And we just kind of like reveal all of our insecurities. I don't know if I'll ever work again. Totally. Maybe I'm not talented. And, and we're like, what? I know. Sometimes <laughs> I wake up and I'm like, wait, what did I just say? <laughs> So yeah, it, and it is therapeutic. I mean, all joking aside, it is therapeutic and it is something uh, that has helped you certainly. And like you've listened to 50,000 self-help books since doing I can this. write my own now. No, and I think it's amazingly positive, Cheryl. You know, like mm -hmm. we all come from a time where, you know, we were drinking too much or doing things that were just not too... <laughs> to help everything was just too much <laughs> and uh you know you find then the thing when you find the thing that is causing the pain that causes you to do those things and when i say you i don't mean you i mean you totally mean everybody who this resonates with right what's then your advice yeah then those things change right um yeah. Okay. So what I feel so like for you though, you've been dancing so much. I think that's your therapy. Yes. Like I because I really do hate exercising. Some pe it's for some people. Amen. You know I mean? It really is for some people. I've worked uh, you know, I've worked out on and off my whole career. I struggle with my weight. Like right now I have some pounds to lose. But the good news is I'm getting to an age where I'm like I'm okay. <laughs> like I'm okay. Like, it, and You're it's not like, it's not like, okay. I'm, I'm by any stretch of the imagination, am I saying like I'm overweight, but for the business that we're in and how oh, you I'm feel sponsored. comfortable in your own body, that's up to you. That's, that's not for anybody else to say. Like, but no. for me, the dancing is like, cause music is therapeutic and, and the dancing is my exercise, but it's also my mm -hmm. kind of, it's like my husband's golf you know, or yes, Matt's yes. zoo that he has yes. going on in, in your house there. Um, right. And we, you know, you just got to find your thing. You know what I mean? You got to find your thing. And dance, I think dance is like that for me as well. But because it's my profession, you know, I think that me doing diamond painting is the equivalent in a way. Obviously, dance puts me in a different type of state, like different consciousness. I am having an outer body experience most of the time when I'm performing, like mm -hmm. that feeling of like not remembering anything after your yeah. dance. That yeah. is like a feeling of just, um, what is it? Like you're just in ecstasy, you know, you're just like, you have no idea what just happened. You just know that you had an amazing time and you never want it to end, you know? But sometimes yeah. I would not like that. I would like that feeling of ecstasy with anything. Right. right. With every, yeah, exactly. Like, but geez, is that what's going on for you? For me, I'm like my damn hip. Damn it. I don't look like a, I don't look like I think I do. And no, it's not. It's definitely only for performances. Like it's oh, maybe I, I can count on two hands how many times that's happened on Dancing with the Stars, let's say. <laughs> okay. But definitely not during the rehearsal process. <laughs> Understood. <laughs> Which is quite brutal. Yes. Uh, but, but amazing. I mean, it's one of my favorite experiences, you know, was Dancing with the Stars, even though I didn't love the performance part of it because I didn't love the judging part of it, right? Like, yeah. if I performed it and then I was validated for just performing it, you know, because right. every live show, you know, I was hoping for a small earthquake, nothing where anybody got hurt, <laughs> a spire where CBS had to shut down for a minute just for, you know. Just oh, for the, God, girl, I feel you. At this time, I felt like that too. 
Yeah, but for me, it was every week. It was just, totally. you know, I was just petrified. Totally out of your comfort you know, zone. Well, doing it live is something different, you know, like doing something you've never done before live that's being broadcast to millions of people. Are you yeah. just ignoring all these people? I can't see a damn thing. I'm not ignoring them, actually. They're just saying how blurry you are most of the time. But your girl, Holly Pete, was on. She said, what's up? Hi, Holly. Um, Terrell Owens, my one of my partners on Dancing with Stars, he was on earlier. And then a lot of people are saying, does your Wi-Fi sucks? And we already know this. Like, um, to a point where you're not hearing what I'm saying? Or I just... No, no, I, you're just blurry. And, like, what If a I waste. look blurry and I look like I'm 30, then everybody, this is fine. Relax. It's all good. Everybody. Like, how long did it take you to do your hair and makeup? Like, we can't have you be blurry. Seven hours. <laughs> As me, oh my God, look at my nails. I did these by myself. Wow, that looks amazing. Thank you. Cheryl, wow. that's, that's amazing. I can be a professional nail artist. My tutorial's up on my YouTube channel. Check it out. Wow. Actually, <laughs> these are press-ons. <laughs> oh, shut up. You're a new work, Cheryl. No, but wait, hold on. Yeah. Has anyone ever put press-ons on and then put gel on top of the press-ons? They last longer. You're, are you asking me or them? Every, anyone who wants to just answer the damn question. Okay, what I'm trying to do is get one of these freaking things on this oh my God. thing. And can, so you, far can you not talk? You don't have to look at me. Just talk. I'll, answer, I'll ask you questions and then diamond paint. Okay. Okay. What's your favorite memory from working on King of Queens? By the way, that's how she is when she tries to teach you to dance. She's very fluffy <laughs> and not nice. That's why I don't no. her. Go ahead. Oh my God. Pity party. Okay. What's your favorite memory? Oh, of King of Queens? Yes. Well, listen, we did nine years and 207 episodes, so it's very hard to pick just one. Well, uh, maybe but Diamond the Paint and answer the question, you'll be able to pick one. By the way, this is what she does when you go to her house. Like, if you stop for a moment, maybe you got to pee, get a chip, a stop, hippie? you want to cry, you want to cry, because she's like, cry and do, cry and Shut do. Shut up. Just don't cry on the canvas. Don't get it wet. Um, by the way, this is a really Please great question answer. coming up next. Can I, I answer the first? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Answer the first one. <laughs> sorry. I'm so bad at this. Go. So it's hard to pick just one. However, and 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 the people who watch King of Queens know the show more than I. Like I literally tweeted a picture, and they told me immediately what that show was. Whoa! So this is the show. Watch, you'll see. They'll 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 know the show. This was the show. We came back. It was our season opener. It was right after I got married. I think all I know is that I was super skinny. And that what? I was super skinny. And oh, shut up. And we go, can you stop saying shut up? Shut up. <laughs> and we come back to, uh, Doug brings Carrie to like a place in the mountains. And we get it, we, we're in a canoe and he gets lost in the woods. And he's like a minute from the road, but he like does this whole thing. But I just remember so many times laughing to a point where I almost peed in my pants. And when I laugh really hard, I fall to the floor, whatever. I just fall right to the floor. Really? And I, I, and I repeat, I can't, I can't, I can't. That's what I do when I'm like really laughing. Okay. How come I've never seen this? You've seen, seen what? You laugh so hard that you piss yourself and fall to the floor. Great question, sure. I mean, I'm not trying, I'm not a comedian. I'm just saying. Anyway, that's my goal now for 2020, the rest of 2020. That's fucked up. Oh, sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. sorry, 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 sorry. So, okay. we're in this canoe, and Kevin decides, like, Kevin is amazing at doing things that we don't rehearse. And he does this thing where he said, he gets into the canoe, and he tries to balance himself in the canoe. And he goes... He, he's like wobbling around the canoe and he goes, it's the perfect store. And he never did that. And the canoe was shaking back and forth. And I just fell to the floor of the canoe. And your I fans cannot... already know it. What? They're like, your fans are saying they love that episode. What do they say? They, they know, right? They know. They know. They know. Then he gets caught up in a tree where he ex where he sees an owl and it freaks him out so much that he. <laughs> I can't. 
Are you are you gonna do it? Are you peeing yourself? I can't do it. Do it. If I think about Kevin doing things, I will stop. I can't stop it. Okay. I mean, and he falls out of the tree. <laughs> but it was just the episode. Just as a crew, as a as a cast, we just laughed. Like we just laughed so. Like and we did a lot, but I, that just came to mind. All right. Anyway, I'm answering too long. It's okay. Now. Next question. Just call me Barbara Walters. Yeah. I was a huge fan. I don't think I've ever told you this because I didn't want to be some creeper fan, but I was a fan of you on Saved by the Bell. <laughs> I totally Where forgot that my best friend was on Saved by the Bell. Like, you don't understand. That was my tiger mom only let me watch one hour of TV a week. Really? And, yes. And it was you on Saved by the Bell. Like, I was Aww. watching the whole Saved by the Bell, but then, like, you came on, and then I just, like, went from really liking the main girl to you. That is What's so that? sweet, Cheryl. I know, I, I know. But Thank so, you. back to the question from yeah. at Mars Korea. Do you yeah. keep in touch with Zach Morris? Do I keep in touch with him? No. I mean, we follow each other on social media. I see him at events or out, you know. In the you guys definitely keep in touch then. No, but it's, I'm, I don't want to give a false idea. No. That, like, I'm calling him like I call Kevin. How old were you? Huh? You? Huh? How old were you when you did that? 18, 19? Oh, my God. I, yeah. I can actually recite some of your scenes. No, you can't. I mean, I Do need it. to, like, lead in. I need to, like, you know, it's just, like, it's like a song. I, that's how much I watched it. Really? It was either that or... I wish I knew my lines. Huh? I wish I knew my lines. I'd make you do it for everybody. It's like playing the piano. Speaking of, how are your yeah. piano lessons? So good. Oh, I learned Oh to Joy. You guys, so Leah is learning dun, how to dun, play dun, the dun, piano. Dun, 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 Learn that. I'm going to play that for you guys, and I'm going to post it. You should. Yeah. How do you play with those nails? I just figure it out. How do we, so how, you're doing it. And by the way, you? by the way, I don't play it great because of my nails, but I'm not trying to be a concert pianist. Pianist? So, pianist. 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 So, it is like you do here, like, and it is That's kind of That's boring as shit. Well. Just kidding. You know, but my the thing is, is that it's not, it's like, it, it's not the easiest thing to do, but I'm doing it. I'm doing it because, listen, part of I've always wanted to learn the piano, and I always had excuses, like, I'm too old to learn. What's the point of learning? My nails are too long. What am I, what am I going to spend my time rehearsing, like, a piano for no reason? Like, I have all these excuses, and, and I just said, you know what? Screw it. Yeah, I might be old, but so what? Guess what? I can teach you how to play the piano because I know how. She just told me this the other day. You think you know somebody, and she tells me that she knows how to play the piano. She's been to my house a million times. I played the piano, and maybe you weren't there, but like you were home, but maybe you weren't there, but I can only read notes. I can't play by ear. Well, so I gotta if you that. seem to I... happen to have Fear Release by Beethoven, let me know. I do. Shut up. So, you know, you, like, you know how you like, you know how you... I just go to the computer and print it out. Oh, duh. I forgot about technology nowadays. Um, by the way, you just stopped being blurry. Congratulations. 30 minutes in. Look really? how beautiful she is. Yes. Um, wait, hold on. So you can do karaoke. I could play the piano now. So, because I hate oh, no, to sing. I, hate... I don't know that, like, I can do karaoke, but I do karaoke. And I, again, it's something that I just love doing. And I have no shame. Can I you sing? You love making no. people do it. <laughs> I do love making people sing. I, I can't. I don't love when people can sing. Mm, great. That's the worst. Annoying. When they're like going off. Yeah. Like one night we had uh, <laughs> Angelo singing, my husband who could sing, Jennifer, Mark, and I was like. <sighs> oh my God. Did you see Mark Anthony's last post? Stalking him. <laughs> Why? Was it great? He sang one of my favorite songs in the world. What? Don't know what it's called. Oh, yeah, I do. Song for You. Oh, by Donny Hathaway. Yes! 
I well, pitched to Tony, it like 25 I to times. That Tony, Tony Dovolani, I pitched that to him when we were, when I came on Dance with oh the Stars. Oh my God. Well, I didn't know how the show worked, so I came with okay. like wardrobe, out, like outfits for Tony, outfits for me. I had song lists. I was like, so this is the scene. Wait. You are a man who's been on the stage your whole life. And then we'll have pictures of your family and your wife around you. And he's like, right, babe, we're doing Britney Spears. Uh, yeah, Pasa right. Doble. Right. I mean, mind you, though, to your defense, they, the producers ask you guys for all, like, the songs that you like. You'll and never, it'll never get used, but. Use yeah, and then hardly use them. And then hardly yeah. Um, By the way, I just want to make sure everybody knows that wasn't a slam on Jennifer and Mark and my husband singing. They sing beautifully. But then I get up and sing <laughs> horribly. And I'm like, I need people who split. They're not great at this, but can sell a song, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. Now, it'd be like going to, like, a salsa club and then only professional salsa dancers everywhere right I'd love, I'd love it though i'm not a professional salsa dancer but me and you are going to come out soon with our little duet are we yes and yeah. we're going to have mark anthony sing live <laughs> that'd be the show? can you believe my own best friend has never asked me if i ever wanted to go to a mark anthony concert i like, didn't know what uh, our song is mark anthony I know, but I didn't know like you would want to go to a concert. Obsessed. By the way, I'm obsessed. And I'm so I obsessed. Okay, next that, time, it's oh, the best. The, angry. Like, uh, yes, I'm sorry. You're right. But I also didn't want to be like, oh, next time, you know, you go to your friend's concert, can you invite me? That's weird. That's not weird at all. It's kind of weird. I don't know. I wouldn't no, do that. Not but that's not me. That's not weird. That's just, like be yourself. Be like if you're passionate about something, just well, be yourself. Like. I'm obsessed, not there you go. passionate. I love that. Yes, and I don't even I speak Spanish, but I can sing his songs. Listen, I didn't speak Spanish. When, well, I still don't speak Spanish, but <laughs> I, when I first heard my husband singing and he was singing a Mark Anthony song, I don't know what the hell he was saying, but I was like, I'm in love. And then I bought a Mark Anthony CD. Yep, a CD, everybody. And <laughs> Oh, I miss CDs. And then I listened to it over and over again, one song that I fell in love with Angelo. He sang, um, Joe, Ted oh, Good one. Okay, nobody's yep. going to recognize that. I do, anyway. I do. I got it. I got okay. it. Okay. And by the way, Mark doesn't recognize it when I sing it. And he's like, okay, <laughs> stop doing that. Um, but I just learned that phrase and not well, obviously. But like, you actually look it up. Like, you've introduced me to so many songs in Spanish that you like, you're like, let's listen, let's look at what the lyrics mean. I'm like, who cares? Let's listen to I the know. beats. I know. You you do that, Angelo does that. And most dancers, I think, do that. A lot of, a lot of you don't listen to the lyrics. I'm a lyrics person. Like, if I'm sad, I put on like certain songs to be sadder. Hmm. <laughs> totally. Um, so I just, I love it all. I love country. I love, and you know how much I love music. You love I country? I don't, who are you? I love all kinds of music. And most What's your favorite country songs, song? I, let me get, oh, I was going to get my phone. I was going to go through my whole thing. Of my, I have a whole country playlist. Yeah. Yeah. When don't you're challenge here, me, babe. Don't Leah, challenge me. I'm not challenging you. I'm just like, fine. Just like, you know, you never knew about the piano. I never knew about your country. I'm not saying obsessed with country. I'm just saying that I like it all. Okay. Like, I, I really do like it all. Okay. And, um, I'm just going blank on my favorite guy that I'm listening to right now. But um, can I just ask you how many drills you put on your canvas? Six, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. One more question. Or maybe two more I can squeeze in. Oh, eight. Do you, <laughs> one sec. My grandma is 97 and loves you. So can you give Grandma Belko a shout out? Grandma Belko? I think so. I hope so. Grandma Belko, <laughs> thank you for loving me. And if you got that wrong, if I got it wrong, it's Cheryl's fault. My fault. B E L K O. Huh? B B as in Burke, E L K O. Belko. Belko? Anyway, what's your definition of vulnerability? Someone's asking. My definition of vulnerability? Cheryl. Um, <laughs> huh? I said Cheryl Burke. 
No. I'm just kidding. I'm okay. kidding. Well, I think people know what being vulnerable it is, but it's different for, for different yes. people. I mean, if if you're um, allowing people in, I mean, they, the people that you're allowing in have to be responsible for the things you're being vulnerable with. I mean, for me, sometimes it's just simply letting somebody know that I'm not feeling uh, good about myself or I'm feeling mm -hmm. insecure about our friendship or relationship, whatever it yeah. is. It's like, you know, it's it being vulnerable is really speaking out loud the feelings that you're feeling in a moment, whereas mm -hmm. we might usually go, I don't know, or make a face or go uh, be sarcastic. Yeah, be sarcastic or be funny or be, yeah. uh, you know, use whatever the thing is that you use to get away with it. If it's comedy, if it's sexual, if it's flirting, if it's, mm -hmm. um, you know, those things being vulnerable to me is allowing somebody in to, but that's a scary, that's a scary thing to do because not a lot of people are responsible with that vulnerability. Like you'll totally. hear a lot of times like you're being crazy or you're being stupid mm -hmm. or you're imagining that mm -hmm. and you're not any of those things. You're being vulnerable and yeah. people could be more responsible with, with that. I actually think being vulnerable, it takes more strength than um, being the not being not vulnerable. I mean, I, I was taught when I was a little kid, like my mom taught me not to be vulnerable because that would be showing my weakness. So right. I've had to like relearn. I've had to learn how to be just recently. Right, right. Because you're right. It does take big strength. It takes strength and big mm -hmm. balls to be big balls who you, who you really are. And who mm -hmm. you really are is great. And who you really are isn't perfect. Mm -hmm. who you really are is somebody who is hurt or yeah. hurts people and you just have to own it you just have to own all being yourself yeah That's being and some people just have to figure out who that is too like i just had to figure out my what's my favorite color because like in the ballroom world even before dancing with the stars it's such a in a weird way a man's world so like yeah our coaches or whatever, you know, our coaches told us what to do, told us what to wear, told me how to be stand up, you know, just act like people, you know, around people, a certain persona, I guess, that I, it was hard for me to discover um, right. myself. And I went straight from that world to this world. And then obviously, this was a whole new type of dictatorship in a way of like right. what to do. So it's just like, just recently, did I actually be able to figure that out in a way, just like little things, like just to be conscious of the certain things that I'm doing. Is that because right. of someone telling me to do it or is it because I really want to do it? Right. Or do I really think this because I really think it, Cheryl, does Cheryl really think this or am yeah. I taught to think this? And I think that's so important right. as we evolve yeah is that you question yourself and even if it was something that you did think and you were wholeheartedly uh believing that it was what you thought it's okay to change your mind yeah okay i think it stopped i think yeah. it stopped it, it was challenging for me to like create and choreograph because i wanted i needed validation so much right because i didn't know they're like well do you like it like i was like that was the last person i was asking was me you right. know it was like pleasing and it was all for other reasons other than myself and that was when i was the most unhappy i think yeah yeah, yeah. and you know what we're all, like hopefully we're one of the reasons why i love you so much is because you're always trying you're always trying to be better you're always searching you're always looking for the next thing you're in, in yourself meaning you're you're always yeah. introspecting and you know that's that's a big change for you you know what oh. i mean once you got married it's like things Changed and I loved you before, but I mean, once I really stopped drinking because the drinking started getting crazy, right? But you were like really starting to inspect yourself, your soul. Why was I drinking so much? Where, what was that pain coming from? What was I yeah. hiding from? Yeah, and yeah. but you're always trying, Cheryl. And it's like when people, uh, you know, uh, uh, accuse you or the people you even love say you, you know, you're 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 this or you're that or you're you're defensive or you're a hypocrite or you I might be. And it's like, let, just let that in. Like that might, those, that those might be things that are true. So we just yeah. have to kind of accept it and go, what, what can we change for the better? You know, not everybody is trying. 
Well, I just uh, think like just taking responsibility is so important. Um, yeah, but that's hard to do. Like, well, that's right. hard to do. Yeah. But I mean, like, if you're going to keep trying to change other people, you're wasting so much time because no one's changing for you. Yeah. Well, people do. I mean, I think people change when they want to change, when they see something in themselves that they go, or even in somebody else, usually, and they go, Jesus, or, can do that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or, yeah. Like, or if you just lead yeah. by example, really, right? Like, and hopefully you can change like that. But that's hard yeah. to do. <laughs> you got to worry about you. You got to worry about what you are doing. And it's like, you know how... They tell you on the airline, like when you're on the plane, like you put your face mask on first mm -hmm. and then assist your, like, it's like you, I have to be better for me. And yeah. then my daughter will either see the change in me in a positive way or she won't. You just can't get into a proving thing. Like, look how much better I am. Like, you just right. got to do your thing because you want to and because you want to change. And is this boring? No, I, people are loving it right now. They're like, yes, they're like, amen. And then someone just asked, um, what are you guys coloring? <laughs> no. We're not coloring. We're diamond painting. We're uh, Cheryl's new obsession, everybody. Diamond is my therapy. But, but I got to tell you, there have been moments where I had, like, I wish that I had this. Well, now you now. got two from Diamond Art Club. What's the, um, okay. one more question. What's the one thing that you really learned during quarantine? Um... You kind of answered that, didn't you? Yeah, but how 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 good people can be. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. That there is hope. Because I, I was talking to you <laughs> the other night, and you were like, I'm kind of going to miss this when this is all over. I'm like, yeah, actually, I've been thinking about it, and so am I. Not for, I mean, obviously not for, no. for, for people who are, like, needing to get back to work, and I get, like, I, I do too, um, but, you know, I'm blessed that I'm not losing my home. There are people who are really, really so. I not, uh, you know, I'm not referencing no that and for that, but for the for the hope and for the, the people's empathy. Uh, you know, seeing that, um, seeing people come together, seeing people be innovative in ways to show people that they love them uh, without being around them. You know, those are things that I'll. I'll yeah. I'll miss is seeing and also people. just like being with your fam, like being with Sophia, you know, she'd be at school or like, you know, yes. now, you know, you guys we're forced to either love each other or really just be miserable at this point. But like, why be miserable? Well, no, I mean, I'm not saying I'm not miserable. I mean, I, I, it's, <laughs> there's, there's another, there's, there's another side of it for married folk. I mean, uh, totally <laughs> being around your child 24 hours a day. So it's, it's, <laughs> There are someone's asking where Vicky is. My mom? Yep. She's probably, hopefully, home. <laughs> <laughs> Has she been home? Well, she's been home and she's been here. Playing she's Mahjong? Been, she's been here, not playing Mahjong, but she oh, has Mahjong. threatened, she has threatened to come over and, um, play and teach Sophia how to play Mahjong, which would bring me a lot of joy. Oh my God, I want to learn again. I used to play all the time. Well, we could FaceTime you and show you. Okay, but I need to get the Mahjong. Oh yeah, Mahjong. you need the thing, yeah. I'll send you yeah. a Mahjong kit. We Set. love you too. Um, oh, we're everyone, done? Some people, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're done. Okay. I love you. So love come you. back in like six years from now, you'll still be working on the same canvas, but I think you should continue to work on it. Okay, I love I'll you. I'll hang it up in my hey, closet. Listen, oh, okay. Okay, um, you know what? You know what, Cheryl? I actually am. I'm actually going to finish this and then I want you to hang it up in your house. Okay? I will. Okay. I will. I listen, love you. I want to thank everybody for tuning into this. <laughs> thank you for doing this. I know you're I very busy. You. I love you more. I'm not very busy. I love you. <laughs>